In this video, as part of the membership module series, I'm going to show you some of the places that, as a site admin, you will want to go to manage your members and the membership profiles and accounts. If you have a lot of members already that you want to import from your old site into tenancy, you can use our batch membership import and you come up to the admin bar under people drop down to members and this will take you to the membership tabs and when you mouse over the membership tab it will drop down and you will see here an import and an export feature the import feature allows you to batch import your members from a CSV file and the export feature allows you to export your site's members into a CSV file that you can then use for other tools outside. Um, by clicking on the import, you will see that it will tie to a certain application. So you will need to have already created a membership application that we've shown earlier. And then you can choose the file and what needs to be in your CSV file you need to have a username field, you need to have an email field, membership type that matches the membership types on your site, first name and last name. Those are required fields. You can then add additional fields based on what information you have on your members and our site will import those as well. These are just the required ones. So to batch import we would choose the file from our drive where the CSV file is and then we would click to import it would come over here and as you can see there's a number of fields that we didn't have listed so we just want to look for first name here and last name and this allows you to map the fields that are in your spreadsheet into the system and again you can add all of these others if you wanted to to your spreadsheet and then we click submit this allows you to preview the import and then you would click here import now if everything looks correct depending on how large your membership import file is it can take several minutes and so it will tell you here it's processing the membership import so we will take a brief pause and once the import is done I'll show you what that looks like when the membership import is finished you will see a notice that tells you how many imports were attempted how many were added and how many were skipped in this case all five of our member examples were imported correctly However, every now and then, maybe something has a special field and the system had trouble reading it correctly, you will be able to see which ones are skipped and that way you're able to go back and either manually add them or try again for the ones that were missed. We can go back to the membership search page and now when we click to see professional members on the right hand side, we can see our new examples have been added here, each with their own membership number and the details so that's how you batch import your members to export your members from a tenancy site you would go back through the admin navigation menu to members and you would come down to memberships to click on export you can export your members based on their application type and to protect the export process your site's password is required. It's the same password that you log into your tenancy site as an admin. And once you export, as you see here, we will get a export file. And it will have the different information that you specified on your application fields as exportable, which you can customize. So that's how easy it is to export your memberships.